In this video, I will talk about the actions that Metaforce is taking to defend its position in the context of the SEC. Trying to weaken us only makes us stronger. Hi friends, I'm Lado Okhotnikov. SEC attacks cryptocurrency projects, including previous uh, project where I was a co-author. In the text of unfounded claims from the SEC, among other misleading, there is such a lie that supposedly we did not respond to warning and claims from the side first of the Philippine SEC and then an official from the Montana. True that official from Montana did not have his own position. He simply copied and repeated everything written by the Philippine SEC. But despite the absurdity of the claims, the reaction on our part expressed in actions has always been. Let me emphasize again, we are invited to respond not to fake claims, but to absurd. The claims from all the SEC, both Filipino and American, are absurd, because they are not based on anything. What can it be compared to? Imagine you have a store where you sell, for example, tea, herbal drinks, yerba mate, coffee and other drinks, for example. Customers really like your store and you are developing, opening new stores and you already have a whole chain of stores. And suddenly, someone with influence like the SEC claims that you are a drug dealer. You answer, we don't have any drugs. And they tell you, stop selling drugs. You answer, we never sold any drugs. We are selling healthy beverages. And then they declare that you do not respond to their warnings and claims. His is the same absurdity in our situation. We were charged with the false accusation built on fictitious justifications and it is proposed to somehow respond to this. <laughs> in response, we send detailed explanations as well as a proposal to study for such, to study how the blockchain uh, actually works, how network marketing works and why it should not be confused with Ponzi scheme. We responded to the commission, which having not studied for such, demonstrating its lack of understanding of the algorithm of our work, built claims against us based on their fantasies. And the SEC did not react in any way to our answers. But we didn't just send a reply. We then immediately supplemented the disclaimer on the site and made changes to the text. We replaced the word reinvestment, which is uh, convenient <laughs> for the understanding of all people in our field so that even in this form there would be no word invest, investment, etc. so that no one confused Forsage with any investment project. Although the word reinvest is known to everyone in network marketing and has always been uh, considering an appropriate word and this word never implied that we are talking about an investment program but we deleted it we have also changed many other words on the site in our materials to avoid misunderstandings a year later an official from montana found fault with us in an article on his website he gave me a deadline by which i had to stop uh, but the deadline has passed by the time I first saw the article. For some reason he thinks that I and everyone must follow the information on his site. And it is not very clear what was meant by the requirement to stop, given that the blockchain and the smart contract cannot be stopped. He did not even bother with a superficial study of Forsage and simply copied everything from the Philippines SEC. Therefore, it was unclear exactly how to respond to his attacks. But the fact that even in the United States they allow incompetence at the level of the Philippine Commission, I was very confused. We discussed this issue with partners and I insisted that something needs to be changed in our approach in order not to face such claims. At that time, we were finishing work on smart contracts 
on uh, Smart Chain, which were planned to be released even before the claim from the Montana, but the launch was delayed. My proposal to cancel the release of programs on Smart Chain was not accepted uh, by my partners, and I began to look for a way to implement what I had planned back in 2020. I was preparing the system, which in fact was the development of the future metaphors. My partners did not support the draft of the new system and chose a completely different path. At the beginning of 2022, there was a final split with my former partners. Since then, I have nothing to do with Forsage. And I am creating a system that, among other things, takes into account claims against Forsage. Therefore, in Metaphors, the main focus is on the client, who will be the user of our products. At the same time, anyone can join the promotion and distribution of our products, own on it, as well as participate in the development of our tokenomics and the metaverse. The proof of the intention to create a system even uh, at the first such stage is the transfer that I offer to any of the participants with the help of a bot and a bot list that gave participants similar levels in the new system. This action did not bring me any dividends. Moreover, it is completely unprofitable for me even from the point of view of advertising. This action did not even bring a positive attitude from the participants who used the, this transfer to get levels. During the period when the transfer was given, only a small part of the participants responded, because at that time it was not obvious how much better metaphors would be than Forsage. When the launch took place, even at that time, most of the participants were not attracted due to the action. <laughs> On the contrary, the transfer action from Forsage was uh, perceived uh, negatively by them. So all this created only complications and extra expenses for me. And these problems I foresaw from the very beginning. It is obvious that the transfer from Forsage was not made for the purpose of profit. However, I took this action because I'm implementing in metaphors what I planned back in Forsage, but then I was limited in the solution. All these regulatory commissions and officials don't care about people and suggest just leave everything and leave the community. They don't understand our values. If you are successful in network marketing, then you know very well that the main value of network uh, marketing is taking care of your team and I always care first of all about our community. In early August it became known about the claims already from the US SEC. They have shown the same level of incompetence in matters of blockchain, network marketing and in general the subject of the dispute. And I'm not only respond them, but also reconsidering our approach to everything. In general, these are claims not uh, to metaphors, but to forsage. But many already put them on the same line, which is misleading. We are confronting uh, these uh, misconceptions and are preparing new materials to make it easier uh, for everyone to understand. So, I have been preparing a new metaphor system for a long time, in which the community is protected from the weak position in which the so-called lack of product can be complained. Now we see how the SEC and other regulators are looking to control the blockchain. But the blockchain is impossible to control, and they are actively looking for what and whom to find fault with. The whole value of blockchain and cryptocurrency lies in their decentralization. Regulators want to control these flows in order to get their share, while they want to take away the main value. Not understanding that if you take away its main value from an asset, then it will depreciate and other assets will take its place, which the hand of the regulators would not reach. And they will be valuable precisely because they can avoid the control from the regulators. After all, not everyone is ready to be as open as we are. We decided to respond to the new realities and therefore we are modernizing our system. What could I say in defense of the previous project? 
There are no direct things of Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes, but someone can say that there are indirect indications. And although it is impossible to build accusations on the indirect things, many speculating on them. So, we are strengthening our position. First, we thought out updating the disclaimers and uh, making even more changes to our content on the site and in the materials. But the SEC does not seem to read that uh, kind of materials, so it's a minor part of what we are doing. We are changing the structure. This is a real revolution in our field. You will not find in metaphors not only direct, but even indirect things of a financial pyramid. Marketing is based on products. We are preparing several series of products. These are tokenized things, both real and features of the metaverse. A unique metaverse, an example of decentralization and eco-friendly life in which the principle is such uh, that the virtual meets the real. In addition, there will be separate spaces in the metaverse for games, additional words within the world. At the same time, we have matrix marketing programs, the income from which is 100% distributed among the participants. We have discussed our changes with the programmers and I am ready to reveal the updates marketing in the coming days. I think you should appreciate. Now everything has become much better and the puzzles of the huge system have come together to the end so the further development will be easier to move forward. The basic schemes that you are already working with, if you are a participant, will remain the same for you. The changes will not confuse you. All referral connections are saved. Everything that you have worked out will be preserved. And after the implementation of updates, it will have more changes to multiply. And yes, in the end, I have to regret those who copy metaphors. You have to start from scratch. I immediately told you, stop doing nonsense. Use your resources, your talents to develop business with us. It will bring you much more than futile attempts to do as we do. In the updates, I carefully thought out so that our customers are satisfied with the, their choice. And those who are with us in the team receive the maximum profit. We will develop and if someone tries to weaken us, we become even stronger as a result. We are with you. Force.